Hi friends, you can get free perks in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies through a bunch of easter eggs. And you can get this and stow them for your next game or you can use them straight away. So I'm going to show you how you can find each of them and what you need to do to get all of the perks for free. By the way, for each of these there will be a little indicator of the common blue zombies bunny, Mr. Peaks, that you'll be able to see in each of these to know that you're in the right place. So let's get started with one of the easiest ones, Speed Cola. You'll need to get to the bird statue in the top left of the map, look for Levin Resorts, then into the orange zone just across from there. If you zoom in, you should actually be able to see it on the map itself. Take any vehicle there and just drive straight up the bird ramp that you see. Go all the way straight and you'll have to drive over the bunny on the edge there. If you do that and drop off the top, a rift will spawn and if you look into it, you'll get your speed cola. Next up is death perception. Look for pop off power on the top of the map. The area just above it on the edge of the map there, you'll find three rings. You'll need to go to one of the nearby tall towers, use the one on the west side and get right to the top. There'll be two levels of ladders you have to climb up. Once there, jump off, make sure you hit your parachute straight away and then guide it through towards those rings. Your mission is to get through each of the rings without dropping down to the floor. If you do that, a rift will spawn and you'll have death perception. Moving on to Juggernog. In the condos area between Lavin Resorts and Seaport District, near the furthest building on the outside of the area, you should see kind of like a camping area, and in that camping area, a little outdoors fireplace. It won't be lit, but if you take a Molotov there and throw it on it, it'll then light up that fireplace, and boom, a rift will spawn, and you'll get your free Juggernog. Next up, Deadshot Daiquiri. South of all of military base, you should find Abtel Academy. Here, you need to look for the church. This one will require a grenade. Semtex seems to work the best. And if you get to the side of the church facing about 122 degrees, just look up for that main window at the top. Your aim is to throw your grenade through that window and have it explode inside the window. Next up for Quick Revive, get to the main road on Hamza Bazaar, heading south of Hadika Farms. You'll find two signposts right at the top there, and on one of them you'll see a Mr. Peak's bunny. You'll need to stop your vehicle or ATV just beneath that first one, and you'll hear a little laughter audio trigger. Once you hear that, go forward as fast as you can. You'll probably need an ATV, like I said, or something fast like that to be able to get to the other signpost as fast as you can. And if you can do that, you'll then spawn a rift. Now, if it doesn't spawn, it just means you haven't done it fast enough. Go back to the start and try it again. On to PhD Flopper. Bottom right of the map, you'll see Shahin Manor buildings. Opposite the swimming pool in this manor, you'll need to get up to the roof. Once you get to the roof, just mantle on the side and get on top of that wooden platform you can see. And you'll then be opposite the pool. There is a little bunny down there which you'll have to jump past and land in the water past. You can either do this by dolphin diving off the edge there, or you could actually just parachute and just ensure you land in the water in front of the bunny. Once you do that, another rift will spawn and you'll get your perk. Moving on to Stamina Up. Bottom left of the map, you should see Zarazan City. If you get to the massive building, it's normally on the edge of where the orange zone is. You'll need to head to where the stairs are. You should see a little bunny at the bottom of the stairs. You'll need your fists out for this most likely. And once you see that bunny, run past it. And you just got to keep running to the top of the stairs as fast as you can. Don't stop. Keep your tactical sprint going. And once you get to the top, a rift will spawn. On to the final two perks that you can get for free. For Tombstone, you'll need a sniper rifle for this one. And head to Aldar Estates. Right at the bottom middle portion of the map, you're looking for the yellow crane. There are two, so make sure you're looking at the one by the mountains. Once you get to the top of any of the buildings in the area, I do find the construction building the easiest by the way, and then with your sniper, aim at one of the cranes, look for the little bunny. Once you see the bunny, it's kind of just above halfway up the crane, zoom into it, hold your breath, and then ping the bunny. It has to be fairly accurate looking at the bunny. You'll get a jump scare from the bunny, but then a riff will spawn and you'll get your tombstone perk. The final one is Elemental Pop. A direct easter egg for this one hasn't actually been found, so your best option is to head to the grave in the red zone, and you can interact with the grave. Sometimes it gives you Elemental Pop. It seems having certain things on your weapons, as well as healing aura, can help you spawn the Elemental Pop. I hear having a Pack-a-Punch weapon with Cryo-Freeze ammo mod and healing aura can be something that does influence you getting Elemental Pop. I'm sure there will be an actual Elemental Pop direct easter egg at some point, so once that's found, I'll make another little video to show you how to get that. So that's how you can get all of your free perks via Easter eggs in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Check out our other Zombies videos for more, and for now, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.